We actually believe uh, cancer is a disease of stem cells and, and progenitor cells, the primitive cells in a tissue. And the reason why is that we don't get a mutation and get cancer. It doesn't really work that way. You need many mutations. But the probability of individual mutation happening is actually quite rare. So you need to have a cell that's long-lived enough, such as, say, a stem cell, which you know, as a population it resides in our body for the whole life of, of the individual, and they are long-lived enough so they can accumulate enough mutations to become malignant. So we believe cancer is a disease of stem cells. In healthy tissues, uh, stem cells are distributed um, through all your tissues. Um, every tissue needs a population of stem and progenitor cells to maintain them. And their geographical location varies depending where what tissue you're dealing with. But certainly in, in skin or epithelial tissues, they tend to be away from the surface of the skin, but down in the deeper layers. Um, now in cancers, um, there's evidence, although it's controversial, that tumors themselves have a stem cell component. Although some are, people would argue there's, there's no hierarchy, there's no stem cell component in, in tumors. And that's something that's under uh, intensive research. It basically, what you're doing is you're, you take a tumor and then you see what proportion of those, of, if you have 100 tumor cells, how many of those cells can generate a new tumor should you transplant into a stem cell assay? And depending how you do that assay, you get different results. So if you have a very inefficient assay, it may be only, say, you know, one cell in 100,000 can do that. And then if you do another assay, the same materials, it's, well, one in three. So sometimes we're not sure if these are an artifact of our, our assay. Well, certainly some of the strongest data is uh, being in uh, leukemia field, um, colon cancer, uh, breast cancer, where something like uh, a very aggressive tumors like melanoma, um, they're so aggressive, it might be that every cell may be a cancer stem cell. And again, these are our, our um, topics under intensive uh, research right now. But it might, it might be that cancer stem cells are associated with some types of tumors or certain types of tumors at different stages of tumor development. So if you're dealing with a complex tissue, such as the hematopoietic system, or say a mammary gland system or neural, early on in tumor development, that tumor itself may have a hierarchy, a stem cell component, the component that drives the tumor, and a differentiated component, which, which just adds to the bulk of the tumor but doesn't propagate the tumor. And maybe in other tumors, very aggressive ones, like a very advanced melanoma, you know, the, it, the, the tumors become so aggressive that every cell in there can function as a cancer stem cell.